In Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, one of the multiple minigames you can check out at the Gold Saucer is Chocobo Racing. There are 22 Chocobo races in total. The first 10 are available in Chapter 8, with the remaining 12 available in Chapter 12. Clearing them all will reward you with useful accessories or materials to upgrade other accessories. So here are 7 tips for leaving the competition in your Choco Dust. Buy all the Chocobo gear you can. It's worthwhile to save golden plumes earned from fixing Chocostops and wrangling Chocobos to purchase later gear sets with different abilities, but you will want to have options for your races during the story events the first time you reach the Gold Saucer. The Treasure Hunter Visor is great for races with lots of turns, but we primarily use the Shinra Avian Helmet for the pure boost to speed, at least until we unlocked Hyperion's Helm in the later races to boost all stats on lap 3. One of the best pieces of gear is the Tropical Shawl, which you acquire after obtaining your Chocobo in Costa del Sol. This piece of gear will enhance the items you pick up during a race, allowing you to activate your abilities more often with them. We ended up having giant leads against our opponents in nearly every race with this gear. Leg guards were the pieces we changed up most often based on the course. We used rodeo leg wraps in earlier races for improved drift duration and speed, then later on we swapped to mystical anklets if the course had more straightaways, or saurian greaves if the course had lots of water. As long as you're hitting the boost pads and avoiding obstacles, you can usually win the earlier racers with pretty much any gear. In the later races though, you'll want to make sure to have the right gear and chocobo based on the course description. Pick the right chocobo for the job. Different chocobos offer different special abilities. Pico, the yellow chocobo, comes with a speed boost ability that grants invincibility when maintaining top speed long enough, while the green chocobo Fango and its choco jump ability allows you to ignore hazards, jump over corners, create shortcuts, and even extend your flight time after hitting an updraft panel. That being said, we won all the races with the standard yellow chocobo Pico, but there are definitely certain races that are designed around using a different chocobo. Pay attention to the course location and its description. If the course has a lot of straightaways, pick the chocobo and gear that gives you the best top speed and acceleration. If it has a lot of hazards or hairpin turns, you will want to pick gear that gives boost to cornering or recovery from hazards. Focus on blue balloons early on in the race. This will help you reach your maximum top speed quickly. Then, focus on red to activate your ability, and finally yellow for their consumable dash charges when you need them most. Avoid other racers when possible, as each collision will not only bounce you around the track if your weight is lower than the other chocobo, but it will also reduce your collection of blue balloons and reduce your maximum speed. Keep a dash charge or other boost ability in reserve for hazards like cactuar doors or bombs. Cactuar doors will automatically open and close, and getting caught on one will often stop or slow you down for multiple seconds and reduce your maximum speed counter. Utilize the updrafts when possible. These usually will allow you to fly over sections of the course, and you can use them to skip portions of the track. Just be careful not to skip too much, or you may get hit with an out-of-bounds penalty and be stopped by Moogles while they place you back on the track. Clearing all the Chocobo races will offer valuable rewards like the Hermes Shoes or Choco King's Cape accessories to give you haste or ATB gauge at the start of battle. Other rewards include new Chocobo gear and materials like Dark Matter, which you will need to upgrade some of the late game accessories. And that's how to win Chocobo races in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Check out our other video guides for more minigame tips in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and our full wiki guide and interactive map over at IGN.com. For everything else video games, stick with IGN.